and H.R. 3095 is a simple piece of legislation that has potential to save uh, our trucking industry nearly $1 billion. As was just stated, FMCSA has recently said that they will follow through with rulemaking rather than guidance, but I still believe this bill is necessary to, congr to codify Congress's opinion on this issue. The problem with issuing guidance instead of traditional rulemaking is that guidance is non-binding and open to new interpretation. When somebody with a commercial driver's license goes to a doctor to get a physical, the doctor can follow the guidance and recommend a sleep apnea test. Sleep apnea tests are, cost thousands of dollars and the cost would be shifted to the employer or the driver. If the doctor chooses to ignore the guidance, they would possibly, possibly be open to legal uh, action. I know this from experience as a physician that many physicians already are, uh, practice defensive medicine and any guidance related to this issue would only drive up the cost of medicine and potentially hurt an industry that also already faces high unemployment. The, the American Trucking Association estimates that nearly one-third of their drivers would meet the arbitrary body mass index threshold. That would mean an estimated one million drivers getting sleep apnea tests at an average cost of $2,265. The total cost just to the ATA members is estimated between $900 million and $1.2 billion. The School Bus Association estimates that this regulation would cost their drivers over $100 million. Sleep apnea is a serious disease that can't be diagnosed arbitrarily, and I'm glad to see that DOT is planning to go through the rulemaking process. This would allow a cost-benefit analysis and, put in, and get input from medical providers and industry stakeholders. The bill has widespread bipartisan support. I'd like to thank my colleague, Mr. Lipinski, for co-authoring this bill with me and the Transportation Committee for their assistance and support of this legislation. I urge all of my colleagues to support this bill.